Introduction Vaibhav has been invited for lunch at Sri Khan's place. Vaibhav is served food on a banana leaf. The food includes many dishes prepared from banana stem, banana flower and raw banana. He is amazed to see that every part of the banana tree is a part of the meal. In this lesson you will learn about plant life. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to List the main parts of a plant Describe their functions Identify different types of plants And state the uses of plants Parts of a plant Plants make our surrounding green. A plant is made up of a number of parts. They are roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits. Roots of a plant are located under the ground. They help plants absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Stem is the main body of a plant. It grows above the ground. It transports water and nutrients from the roots to the other parts of the plant. Leaves are attached to the stem of a plant. They are green and flat. Leaves make food in the presence of sunlight. Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant. They are of different colors and make plants appear colorful. Many flowers have seeds inside them. Fruits are the sweet and juicy part of the plant. We eat them. They are fleshy and sometimes contain seeds. Trees Trees are tall and strong plants. Their stems are called trunks. They are thick and brown in color. Apple tree, mango tree, etc. are examples of trees. Trees have a number of branches growing from their trunks. Trees have a long life. Some trees, like the oak trees, live up to a thousand years. Shrubs and herbs. Shrubs are short plants. They have many branches. Their branches grow from the bottom of the plants. Rose and Hina are examples of shrubs. Most shrubs live up to 50 years. Herbs are small green plant. They have a soft stem and they have a short life of one or two years. Their stem, leaves, seeds or flowers are used in food preparations for flavoring. They are also used as medicines. Mint, spinach, etc. are examples of shrubs. Climbers, creepers and thorny plants. Friends, climbers are weak plants. They cannot stand erect without support. They grow along the ground without support. They can grow straight up with support. Bougainvillea and grape vines are examples of climbers. Creepers like climbers are weak plants, but they grow along the ground only. Pumpkin and watermelon are examples of creepers. Some plants such as the cactus and the rose have spines on their bodies. These plants are known as thorny plants and the spines are called Thorns. Thorns protect these plants from animals. Self-assessment. Hey kids, let us know how much you have learned. Match the names of the plants with their images. Plants give us food. We get food from plants. We eat different parts of different plants as food. For example, we eat the leaves of spinach and cabbage plants. We eat the fruits of mango and pineapple trees. In the same way, we eat the roots, carrot and radish plants. We eat the fruits, stem and flowers of the banana tree. Uses of Plants Besides giving us food, plants are useful to us in many other ways. 
plants purify air. They provide us wood for pencils, paper, furniture, doors and windows of our houses. Some plants such as the neem and tulsi are used to make medicines. Some other plants such as the rose are used in scents. The cotton plant gives us cotton which is used to make clothes. The jute plant gives us jute which is used to make clothes, ropes and mats. We extract oil from the seeds of some plants such as the mustard and sunflower plants. Leaves of the tea plant are used to prepare tea. Seeds of the coffee plant are used to prepare coffee. Dried plants Dried plants are used inside houses and offices as decorative items. They have a long life. They are easy to maintain. Plant care Plants are useful to us in many ways. Therefore, we should take good care of them. Here are some do's and don'ts for protecting valuable plants. Don't pluck flowers. Water plants regularly. Use natural manure. Self-assessment. Click on T or F to indicate whether the following statements are true or false. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The main parts of a plant are its roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. Plants are of different types, trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Plants give us food, wood and medicines. Plants are useful to us, therefore we must take good care of